My name is JD. Um, that's the name that I use uh, as a filmmaker. Um, I live in Queens. I was born in Brooklyn. And uh, my heritage is actually from the Caribbean, from the island of St. Lucia. That's where my family is from. I started working at News 12 Long Island. Currently, I, I'm a studio director there, freelance. And uh, also freelance, I'm a makeup artist, a certified makeup artist. I went to beauty school. Came, I did a short film. I came out with a short film. I made a short film called Closure in 2004, which was a comedy about a woman on 10 dates of the bizarre things that the dates say to her true story. And that short went on to screen at um, 19 film festivals in the United States plus London, England. I was an airline employee for five years of my life at, out of JFK. I worked for America West Airlines at JFK and I had different positions, ticket counter, gate, ramp, operations. And I became, and I've traveled extensively. I traveled extensively during that time, but my dad used to work for Pan Am, so I've been hopping on planes since I was two. And I just became obsessed with air accidents. And when I, so let's fast forward now. So now I'm a filmmaker, and I wanted to do a documentary on an, on an important subject matter. And I was trying to choose which crash to cover. It, it had to be a, a flight that left out of New York to make it easy for me to get to some of the families. And I chose this flight because I felt that this was the forgotten flight. Because, and I was really passionate about it because you always hear about TWA Flight 800 all the time. And you barely heard anything about this flight. So I decided that I was going to put this flight on the map. I was going to draw attention to it. So that was what was, that's why I chose this particular flight. And I had to pick a destination that would be easy for me to get to, for me to, because I, I, I flew my crew to Santo Domingo to get the Dominican stories. So um, that's how that came about. In order for the flight, uh, for, the, for the, the documentary to be concise, I just chose five family, five families. They one one family was a family of four, so the total was eight victims, crash victims. But it was five families, um, two from DR and three from New York. Um, and I I was in my research on my internet research before I started looking for families that were willing to participate, because not every family member that I spoke to at the memorial was willing to participate. Um, I wanted to choose the ringleaders of the families. So Belkis Lora was the ringleader of the families here in New York, and Hector Algaroba was the ringleader for the families over in DR. And I targeted those two, and then Hector led me, Hector didn't want to be in the film itself, but he led me to family members over there. That happened in 2001. Um, I was at home in Queens, and I remember when it happened, the first thing that, that I said, oh my God, um, I'm, I, 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 want to, I want to get to these people, but um, it took me years to actually go into production for it. Um, I was apprehensive because I didn't want to exploit them and so I waited, I waited five years before I finally decided to do it. I just stopped talking about it, stopped thinking about it and went out and did it. I've seen other documentaries on this flight or on, on plane crashes in general and they always they always reenact what happened, how it happened, and what went wrong. And, and that's great background, but I chose a different angle. I wanted to, I always wanted to, to know whenever any, of, any accidents happen or crashes happen, but who was on the plane? 
I mean, these were, that could have been me or someone that I love. And so that was the approach that I took to make the film, to find out who was on the plane and why were they traveling? Just that simple. And then what happened to those closest to them after this happened, when this happened? And that's what gets covered in my film. What comes out in my film is pretty much everything you wanted to know about a plane crash but were afraid to ask. For example, what was on the death, what was the cause of death on a death certificate of a victim of this plane crash? So I'm not going to say that because you have to see the film. But, I, but, that, but that gets answered in the film. Um, how much money does a family get? How much does, American, how much does an airline pay? Um, a family.